Hey, my name's Jovan, and today you'll be learning how to create free mocap from just a webcam on any device. So to do this, we'll be using a software called Rococo Video. This is made by the same people who make the Rococo Smart Suit, which is a really great affordable mocap suit. Um, but if you don't have that suit, you can be using this and just use any webcam or like video recording of yourself, or even recordings from like YouTube and movies, put that into this software and then have that pump out some really good quality mocap. You need to download the Rococo Studio app, which you can download from the Rococo website. This will have all of the process recordings from the web app put onto this application on your computer. And then from there, you can do any sorts of cleanup and then export it to whatever file format you want. So what you need to do is go to video.rococo.com and sign in with a Rococo account. If you don't have this, just sign up for one, it's free. Then you just have to click create new scene, name that, and then choose either record using this device or select a local video file. In this example, I'll be just recording through my laptop camera. Then you should see a live feed from your camera popping up on the computer screen. If you can't see the record button, just scroll down a little bit and there'll be a big red record button on the bottom. Then just click record, walk back so your whole body's in frame and start at a T pose and it will automatically then record for you. Do all the motions and actions that you want to do and then go forward and stop the recording. Once the recording's finished processing, you'll see it appear in your Rococo Studio app on your computer. I'll leave links to everything down in the description below. You know that your recording has been finished when on the Rococo web app, it'll say animation because it's been created, view it in Rococo Studio. So once your recording's finished processing, open up the Rococo Studio application on your computer and find the scene that has been processed. It should be named the same as whatever you named it on the web app. On the left hand side of your screen, you see a drop down saying animation clips. Just double click on the thing that says new recording one and you can rename this here if you want by right clicking and clicking rename. Then you can just use the timeline down the bottom to play through animation and you can see all the mocap that you did applying just there. Now, because it's in early stages, the main thing I think you can do at the moment is to fix where the feet interacted with the ground because that's one of the biggest issues with mocap. So you see in your viewport under your left and right feet, one of them has a green circle and one has a blue circle. And then on the bottom timeline, there's something that says footlock L and footlock R. Here, you can essentially just scrub through and just adjust where your feet were actually touching the ground to make sure that everything is performing correctly. If you don't really mind about the actual feet interaction, you can go to the top where a little like magic wand button is and it will say active filters when you go over it. Click that and then deselect locomotion. When this is ticked on, it will try and make sure that your feet do interact with the ground and that's when you have to do the footlock process. When it's unticked, if you're not going to be seeing your feet interacting with the ground, this will probably have like the cleanest, best looking mocap that you can do. And that's it. Now when you want to export your animation, just go to the right hand side of your screen, click export and select your file format and just go through and change any of the information and the details that you want. I usually just leave it as is and just choose my file location and click export clips. If you then want to put the animation from this rig onto another character's rig with a different skeleton, check out my video here using the Rococo to blend the plugin, which actually allows you to retarget all the animation from one skeleton onto another. So that's just in one of these top corners around here. That's it, you're done. You just created free mocap with a webcam just in a matter of minutes, which is crazy. This is something that I actually started this channel to do. When I started the channel, I was trying to figure out how to actually create mocap without a mocap suit, like some sort of affordable option. And I went through a software called Breckle and some other ones and nothing was really, like it was all doing something, but nothing was really free. It was either really cheap and it was kind of janky. This is like the best solution I've found out there anywhere. And it's by a really reputable company. Um, I'd love to, I'm obviously not sponsored by Rococo, but I'd love to do some work with them if they, for some reason, want to, because their software and hardware is just incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. I've been gone for quite a while. I think it's been like seven months or something. Um, I just kind of hit a rut and got really, I started... I started full-time work and hit a bit of a wall with my channel, but I'm going to be coming back to my YouTube channel now. I've got a few videos lined up um, all about camera work and virtual production, and we'll see where that goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.